All right, guys. Here working on the 98 Superhawk 996. I want to do a quick um, flush of the uh, brake fluid in the clutch master cylinder. Um, so if it's as bad as the brake fluid was in the brake reservoir, we want to get this flushed out. So first I'm going to remove this screw that holds the little cap safety on. And let's crack this open and take a look at it. Um, I didn't do all of this maintenance at first because I wanted to make sure the bike ran well first. And uh, it seems to be running good. We get tags on it. So you can see how black this fluid is. It's pretty dark. I'm going to go ahead and flush it out. So I'm going to grab my uh, hand pump and pump this old fluid out. We'll fill it up and then we'll bleed the system. Okay, what I use is just a cheap hand pump that you can get at Harbor Freight. And I have a little bottle on the end of it. And I'll just stick it down into the reservoir. Give it a couple pumps. Usually does a pretty decent job at getting most of it out. And I just keep pumping it. When I take it away, so hopefully it doesn't drip on the paint. All right, and then I'll take a paper towel and I'll just put it down in the reservoir to soak up the rest of this nasty stuff inside. Let that sit for a minute. And I'm going to grab some brake fluid and my wrench and container to bleed these mat the brake cylinder. All right, if there's a lot of debris in here, like this still has some junk down in it, I'll take these cotton swabs. You can get them at Harbor Freight also, or you can use a regular Q-tip. And I'll try to get in here and get any of that old goopy fluid out with this cotton swab and then I'll add the new fluid to it so as you can see the chunk that came out all right so now I'm going to add fluid here in just a second and we'll start pumping and uh, flushing the system out. okay so I filled it with new brake fluid I checked down here that the bleeder would break loose have that broken loose I use a little Gatorade bottle I just put a hole in and use what started its life as a semi clear tube but it's kind of cloudy now and so now I will just pump this brake fluid a few times then I'll break the bleeder loose pump it once close it pump it a couple times open pump pump a few times just don't release it while you have the bleeder open and this is a very small reservoir so it's very easy to run out of fluid so keep an eye on it now I'm going to add more fluid to it Now I'll take you down here so you can see what I'm doing down here. Let's see if I can set this camera here where it'll stand up. Let's see. So hopefully you can see there. So here's the bleeder. So I pump the handle a few times, then I let go of the handle, break the bleeder open, squeeze. Tighten it back down and continue this process till it's coming out clean. So 
So that's all you have to do. So keep doing this till it comes out clean. All right, so when you're done with that, just make sure you fill your reservoir back up. And you'll probably only have to put about half full in it because you will have the innards to put back in. There we go. And then put your cap back on. And I highly suggest you putting this little safety piece back on because that keeps from people messing with it if you're parked somewhere and you leave your bike and you don't have little smart, smart aleck people coming out taking that off and dumping something in it or you know just somebody messing with your bike period it's always a good idea to have this on to deter them from that all right I'm gonna actually do it one more time because I, I filled the reservoir up a little too far do two more all right so we're good there the handle the pull feels a lot better than it did so we're done with that so this is uh, how you bleed your uh, clutch master and slave cylinder on your motorcycle thanks for watching please like subscribe there'll be more to come like this video and uh, hopefully it helps you out. Please leave a comment if it helps you out. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm here working on the Superhawk 996. It's a 98. And what I'm going to do here is we're going to bleed the rear brakes. Um, this bike has been sitting for a long time. I don't know when the brake fluid was done. I did the front brake fluid and did not do a video of it. I thought I'd do one on the rear. You should do this. I would say every year where I live because it's so humid but every year to two years and so I'm going to go ahead and take this off the the reservoir off here so I can get better access to the screws and don't take a chance of stripping those and then we'll bleed the rear uh, brake caliber here at the back by pumping on the master cylinder here um, a few tools you'll need. You'll need an 8mm box end wrench, screwdriver, Phillips head, a, I use a, I think it's a 564 um, socket to take the master cylinder off, or the reservoir off. I use a Gatorade bottle with the hose in it to capture the fluid. And then I also use a, a vacuum hand pump to suck all the old fluid out and some paper towels. So. Let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is take this reservoir off. Let's see if we can see up there. And we're just going to take this off here. I've already broken it loose. Hopefully, you can see up here and see what I'm doing. And we're going to take that down. Grab that bolt out. And then very carefully with the Phillips, just loosen the screws up and take those screws out. Usually these screws are pretty long, so you may have to unscrew them for a bit. cap off and it has a cover and then the rubber diaphragm inside so we're gonna get that off make sure that doesn't spill grab our little hand pump all the fluid out. 
careful not to drip on anything important. All right. So I'm going to use a rag first to soak up the rest of the fluid that's in here, and then we're going to get started on the bleeding process. One thing I like to do is I'll take the Q-tip and I'll break the little wooden piece and use this to get down in the corner so you can see it's a lot better than it was. There's still a little residue that won't come out, but that's okay. Um, it's stuck in there pretty good. So now we're going to fill that reservoir and start bleeding the rear. All right, so I clean, put clean fluid in the reservoir. So now I'm going to pump this, pump the uh, brake pedal a few times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on this and hold it and I'll crack the rear line open here and it will let the fluid out. I'll close the valve at the, with the wrench and then let off and pump with the hand with my hand here and do the same thing several times. I'll try to get this as best I can in the video. And so I'll just pump this, reach over here break this loose push down take close it back again pump it a few times till it feels good we'll start feeling some pressure there and do it again and continue this process here Let's see if I can get you back here so you can see it don't know if my camera will stand up box over so I'll just pump open the valve push down on the rear brake close it let off on the rear brake and pump a few times just continue this process until I get clear fluid out and the brake pedal feels good this is a way you can bleed your brakes also this is how you get all the air out of them. But since I didn't let my reservoir run dry, I shouldn't have air bubbles. Although I'm getting some air bubbles out of this. And actually the brake is feeling a lot better than it did. Much better. All right, so I'm gonna continue this process. Be right back. Okay, now that I'm done with this process, I'm gonna take this little rubber piece here and it should fold in like this. I'm going to put that on top. And then you have this plastic piece. I'm going to clean it off first with a clean rag. And then that will go on top. And then we've got the cap that goes on. I'm going to do the same thing, kind of clean it off because I've got brake fluid on my hands. I'm actually going to pop these gloves off. And clean this cap off. And I'm going to carefully put this on. Tighten the screws down. All right, now take a quick look around. Make sure you didn't drip brake fluid on anything. And if you did, make sure you wipe it off real good and maybe hit it with some brake clean because it will eat your paint off. All right, so now there's a little notch. If you can see, there's a little plastic notch here. That notch slides back into a hole there, and I'll hold it in place, and I'll put the bolt in that holds that on. So that's how you do your rear brake fluid. We're going to end this video here. Hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, and get out and ride. Thanks.